Hey loves, it's Alexia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be transforming my beautiful mom into a flower girl. So let's get right into it. Some things that you will need to do this look is some lash glue. This is just going to adhere the flowers on to your face or wherever you want to put them. This is from Duo. Obviously the flowers, all different types of flowers. We have them all like already depicted off of a plastic plate. You can either do real or fake. Today we decided to do fake because that's all we had. And we do have a mixture of different colors of light purple, lavender, and white. Last thing that you will need is just a pair of tweezers to get that precision to place your flowers wherever you want them. So first we want to apply a little bit of eyeshadow and blush just to brighten up her face before we apply the flowers just to make her look like she came right out of like a floral garden. So we're going to be using this fun palette with a bunch of different pretty colors so any fun bright palette will work. I'm going to be using the purpley blue pinky tones to create a nice smoked out eye like a really dramatic one like something that you would see on a runway. I'll show some inspiration pictures before I do this so you guys kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. And then I'm also going to be applying a glossy lip before we do the flowers as well. I'm going to be using this lavender shade on a fluffy brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just going to be putting a little bit on and starting to crease her eye a little bit. She already has a neutral color on so I'm just working off of what she has right now. So I'm just going to be putting this on the outer corners of her eyes and making her look a little bit more softer like a flower. And you really just want to blend this all out and really smoke it out kind of like to the end of her of her eyebrow because we want to make it look very like winged and smoked up really dramatic just fan it all the way out now we're going to be going into this dark purple color and kind of doing the same thing just keep building on what we've done and really just smoke it out this will just add a really nice effect to a really cool dramatic look now we just want to add a pop of pink in there right into the outer corner of her eye kind of like liner just smoking it out and blending it into her crease now i am going to be going into these beautiful highlighter shades and mixing them all and just going to emphasize her cheekbones and where we put the pink eyeshadow like on the inner corners of her eyelids so that just adds a nice pop of iridescent light she looks so gorgeous and we're going to put some right on the temples as well because when we put the flowers there we want the light to shine through. Now this is theatrical runway makeup. This is not something that I would recommend wearing out. This is amplified for the runway, for the look, for the photo shoot. Now I'm going to be mixing all the three shades and putting it on my index finger and then just popping it right on the center of her lid. And now I'm going to be doing that, open your eyes. Now I'm going to be doing that to the inner corners of her eyelids as well. Now she is looking like a flower already. So for lips, we're going to be adding a little pop of red gloss. Now we just want to make it look like she just bit into like a cherry or something. So we just want to put a little bit on the center and smudge it out with our fingers. Just for that very natural look. Now I want you to... Now that we have the perfect glam, we are going to be getting into the fun part, adding all the flowers. So for this step, you'll need the flowers, obviously, some lash glue, and a pair of tweezers. I'm just going to put a little bit of lash glue on the back of my hand. Oop, that was a lot. Just to um, access it easily. And then I'm going to be taking my, um, my tweezers and just picking up the flowers and placing them exactly where I want them to be. A lash glue is perfectly safe to use on your client's face because if you can lose, use it on the lashes, you can obviously use it on skin because eyes is really sensitive and skin's the same thing. So I'm just going to be taking a single flower like this, dipping, it into, dipping the center into a little bit of lash glue like that, and I'm going to be placing it on her face. I want to start kind of like in a... I want to go like kind of in a C formation. So where I put the highlighter is where I want to put the flowers. So I am just going to place one right here. I like to start right in the inner or in the outer corner of the lid just to give myself a structure slash base for all the other flowers. Just right there and lightly press. That's all you need and it will dry to clear. You want the white to clear lash glue from Duo or whatever brand, just anything that will turn clear. So you wanna kinda base the flowers off of what your makeup looks like. Exactly what you wanna do. You just wanna stick the flower and a little bit of eyelash glue in the center and then put it on your model's face. Now I want them to kinda be staggered 
So I'm stacking them on top of each other a little bit, like so. You can always have fun with this step. So I'm placing the flowers more in a cluster coming off of her eye, just so it looks like she's growing flowers off of her eyelid. And then I'm just kind of placing them sporadically on top and going a little bit down further. So we have one side of her face done, which is right here, but you want the florals to look like they're spreading out through her face. So I wanna add just three right here so it looks like it's growing on her face. So pretty, you look gorgeous. Do you love it? I love it. So loves, this is the final look. My mom looks so gorgeous. I transformed her into a flower. Do you love it, mom? I love it. It's she a lot of fun. She looks so cute. Look how pretty. So this is what I'm doing for my photo shoot tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? I want to practice. And I was like, who better to do it than my mom? She looks like exactly like me. So I was like, let's do it on her. And I think she looks absolutely stunning. And I love the way it came out. If you guys want to see more videos like this, kind of like photo shoot makeup, theatrical makeup, any kind of makeup look, let me know down in the comments. I would love to do it for you guys and please subscribe to my youtube channel that would mean the world to me like this video if you enjoyed and i'll see you loves in my next one Bye.